A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Darkness Falls Mods. I just heard a zombie dying outside which means... Yep, okay, it's 4 o'clock. Uh, okay, I need food and drink and everything at the moment. As you guys can see, my infection is really bad as well. It seems the infection in Hell on Earth difficulty is... It's its either a Darkness Falls thing or it's this mode, but damn. It's already 13.2% just like that. So I have a little bit of a problem at the moment. Uh, we haven't been able to find any honey. I'm struggling to get leather. Um, yeah, we now need 10 leather, 3 duct tape, 3 pipe for the next one. Uh, I also made myself a campfire over here. I'm cooking up some water. But we are in a little bit of a bind right now because my infection is getting higher and higher and higher. Also... I got the shotgun as a reward for that scout quest we did yesterday. Because I went to the scout to look for some vitamins or some medicine. And then I realized, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, uh, we still have the reward left. Not that it really helps us at the moment because I really need... I wanted to make myself an iron spear as well. But that's bladed weapon crafting one. We can make these two, but I think this bone machete for now is more than sufficient. Also, I need to... I put my one point that I had into this. Because we need stamina, especially now that we're infected. I want to also go and put a point into, not iron, well, iron gut again, yeah, but we have to be level 10 for that. I need to go for cooking. And I think the cooking is under farmer, right? Yeah, sous chef. Ooh, that's unfortunate because at the moment we need like golden rot tea and stuff and that's locked behind sous chef. Oh, the recipe, but it says not applicable. Okay, uh, I don't want to use any of my frames right now, so we'll just do this. Should be enough. I'm making some food and drink. Oh, some water at the moment. Food, I drank. I ate two of those white cans. I'm thinking of also taking a vitamin and attempting to eat all of this stuff. But I mean, that's 25% food poisoning, 25%, 5%. Technically, vitamins are supposed to stop you from getting food poisoning. But yeah, oh, infection red already. Come on, man. Uh, this gives you 15 food. Five food poisoning. This gives you 15. I'll I'll be able to eat these later if I take the vitamin. But for now, I need healing. You're looking kind of rough. This trader is not selling it. Let me just see you if you have any jobs hit, close by. You? Hmm. Deracinated uh, domicile or Dick's Diner? Let's go for the diner. At least oh, now uh, we do have a mining helmet light, so we don't have to worry about anything. But I need food and drink, and I need more cash. The nice thing is normal cash you can use for the vending machines, but we only have six. And then this is from selling two headlamps and the one fire axe that I had. I made it for the quest, the fire axe, but it was useless compared to my stone axe. Okay, the pistol I'm going to leave here because I don't have ammo. The shotgun, we have a little bit of ammo. And then I'm going to take the jars to fill them up. And let's go. With a 15% infection, we need uh, antibiotics to cure this down. There's no other way. Hello. Someone died and dropped a bag. I wonder what's wrong with the right knees. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but every time a zombie walks, even in... What was the other mod we played? There was another mod as well where they walked like that and it's like this weird limp that they have on that right leg. Okay, come on. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Nice. Pistol ammo. Oh, wow. These zombies drop bags way more now. So I'll have to keep my eyes open or peeled for more of these bags. So it seems nighttime zombies, when they die, they drop quite a few bags. That is awesome. I want to make sure this time around we do more scout quests as well. Last time we only did... I thought it was going to be this quest. Last time we only did um, scout ones for the hardcore insanity. Uh, but yeah, we had a ton of ferals and stuff inside as well. So we have to be careful now. At least my current level, the zombies should be weak enough. Come on. Oh, I can actually... I can leave them. One power attack seems to be enough to kill him. Nice. I need to make sure that we don't waste stamina on needless swings and stuff. So if I can kill them with one shot, then just kill them with one shot. It has to be a face shot perfectly to the face. Uh, don't need that one. Don't need this one. Yeah, it seems as long as you hit them straight in the face, you can do some serious damage. Did I accept another scout quest? No. I should have, but I didn't. You are decaying, so if I hit you in the face, you should bleed out. The nice thing is in this mod, they don't aggro, so I can walk away from him without having to worry about my stamina. This dude is a little bit tougher. Oh no, he's an actual zombie. He's not a decaying one. 
That is unfortunate. I never realized there's coffee over in this field. Hello, hello, hello. Come on, bleed out faster, man. Sometimes the, the blood just goes, and other times it takes a while. Fine, go. I don't think there's anything over here. I want to make sure I'm constantly just looting everything that I can loot. Fuel, later we're going to need it when we have a vehicle. We also have to keep our eyes peeled for more vehicles that we might be able to take over. Bedding machine. Ooh, marmalade and food and stuff. Nice. Can I actually eat that now? Blueberry jam. And it takes a wellness up. Nice. I should have probably waited until we die before we eat some of uh, the good foods. We're going to need these good foods to heal from dying. Starting over from 50 wellness after death is tough. At least it should cure the infection. But I'll rather have an infection that uh, reduces stamina than have only 50 health and 50 stamina. Oh, it's this diner over here. Oof. Not the easiest of diners. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now, after we get done here, we have to go loot all these vehicles. But for now... Um, let's just move all these tools how they're supposed to be because I kind of messed up. I just left this stuff on me. Do that. Do that. That, that, and then the frames. Put that there. This one we can actually get rid of. I'm so tempted to double dip every time just because I know that we're going to need it. We're really, really going to... Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, and chairs, we definitely need it for the fuel, so I'll take these quickly. I'm kind of curious to see what kind of zombies we're going to get inside. Because in my Hardcore Insanity series, we had feral zombies from the start, and it basically killed us from the start. If we can get lucky and we're actually able to take the, uh, these down, that would be amazing. See, this is just a fetch. So technically, we don't even have to kill any zombies over here. Seems the bow and arrow is still a really viable way to do things. Unfortunately, you just don't get your arrows back in Darkest Falls. I don't know if he's upstairs or downstairs, we'll have to watch. He's an actual janitor as well. He's not a decaying one. Every single time we see a cash register now, we have to loot it because we need it for the vending machines. I'm getting some kind of error in the in this over here as well. It was just the trader. Uh, IDC call false. I don't know what that means. But I kept getting that error spamming uh, in uh, the console. Because at night time I was looking through things to see um, what this mod entails and stuff. If there's any bugs, if there's any issues, while I was doing all the sorting. And yeah, that came to light. So I wonder what that's all about. That's a lot of cash. Nice. I think my mouse is on its way out. That hesitation with a zoom. Oh... Yeah, the hesitation with the zoom, where I zoom in and it looks like it's uh, zooming in and out. That is the mouse itself. I think the button's giving up. So when it does that kind of, when, when you zoom in like this and it does a weird kind of this. You press R to retract it. I should probably also see if I can find any farm plots. This infection is not going to end well for me. I hate how they stumble forward. Is this where mine is? It shows it's up here, but it's probably going to be in the kitchen then. Where the final of the tough zombies are. Oh, hello. Oh, feral. Okay, um, I can't block this off. That's unfortunate. Stamina, stamina. 
Damn it, that's so low, 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 low. Nice. Okay, yeah. Didn't realize he was feral until at the very end. I need to be super careful. And with my wellness, uh, look at my uh, infection. 20%. I'm going to die from this infection. There's just no way. You be careful of more ferals. I didn't even see that one there until it was too late. Okay, just a, a former thug. Almost a former thug. Lifting. There's bound to be more in there, so I need to be careful. Dude over there. Oof. Ouch. Okay, the fetch should be in here somewhere. I think it might be outside. Yep, it's outside. Okay, cool. Oh, let's just quickly grab all of this. At least I'm getting some uh, healing and stuff, but I don't know what's going to happen if I die. I have a feeling that if I die, I lose all the stuff on me as well. Already, you can't nerd pole. You go back to 50 wellness if you die. The infection spreads super, super fast. So I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if you die, you also lose everything you have on you. I'm hoping it's just then drop everything, not delete everything. But you never, ever know. I need a crowbar as soon as possible. To be able to just one click on one of these and open it up is going to be amazing. Okay, this we can put on this so we can actually take down stags and stuff one try. This we can wear. This we can scrap, scrap, scrap. Although we should probably keep it as fuel. Food poisoning chance. I didn't realize that was a food poisoning chance. Oh, I just drank. Oh, wow. I was lucky. I forgot that that can give you food poisoning, so that would have been really bad just now. Okay, vehicle, and then I have to check whether the one next door is also... I think this is next to the building, yep. <gasps> Oi! That's not fair! I stopped it from vomiting, what was that just now? Is that another one of this mods, or was that just unfair just now? I don't know if uh, what mode, if it's this mode or if it's just... What? Usually if you hit a zombie when they do that, inter it interrupts them and they don't vomit. That could have been an incident just now. I'm so lucky. Although that sped up my infection. I'm 25% infected now. My fetch is up here. Okay, now to get away from these two dudes. Or th uh, the dude is... Oh, she's vomiting through the wall. Yeah, they see... Oh, it's because it's a half block, isn't it? They see me through the wall over there. That is dangerous. Oh, it just had to be one of the tougher ones. Come on. I actually want to experiment. <laughs> because my infection can't go away until... Oh, oh, who knows? Perhaps it doesn't go away even if you die. But I wonder if you die from the infection. That should then cure. Otherwise, that's unfair. But I'm actually kind of curious to see if I end it. Um, do I lose stuff? I keep a little bit of stone or something on me. End it and see what happens, but then I start over from 50 wellness. And if I get hit by another zombie right you after the that, then there time. was no point. Now that you have some money to spend, we're running okay, a so sale for the rest we're of the making day. water right now, so that's fine. Oh, I never scooped more water. Uh, do you have any more jobs? Let's go for the deracinated. Uh, no, wait. Someone who's willing to racinated do domicile. We'll go me. for this one. I oh, thank goodness. I couldn't find anyone to do that job. Painkiller. See, there's nothing over here that can really heal us right now. That is unfortunate. And I really, really, really need to uh, get healed. Also, a silencer for sale over here, but that's way too expensive. Aww, nothing this time. We have skill points. Remember, leveling up in the beginning is now way harder as well. I'm in Forge. Perhaps this one. To make sure my stuff doesn't break as uh, fast. Uh, let's see. Health nut... There's no point in a health nut, because if we die, you die. You lose all your uh, wellness in this one. Parkour. 
can jump one block from uh, crouching. So I might go go for this one. This one doesn't affect me because it says over here, as long as you're not playing Hell on Earth difficulty, jump one meter higher. So you can't jump two meters high. Better late than dead from the shadows. Yes. Yeah, let's go for this one. Sneaky dicky. I did drop all my stuff off. 27% infection. That's insane. At least you can, uh, you're can you able to dump everything super, super fast over here. Oh yeah, obviously stuff went where they're not supposed to go right now, but I just need space. So we'll put these away. We'll check the vending machine to see if we can buy anything. Apple juice, 24. Just slightly more expensive and actually fills you up more. That's definitely worth it. Rice milk, we'll buy those. Moro juice, ooh, that's a nice one, but it's a lot of cash. I can buy two more. 160. So 20 water or 24. Yeah, we'll go for this one. Buy this one and this one. Okay, so at least now we have waters and stuff. But yeah, that doesn't help much with our infection. The fact that we have a 30% infection means we need two antibiotics. And that's just too expensive. There's no way. Okay, we'll fill up first before we go. And then we need to go to do some quests. I'm just going to do quests until I die. If I die, I die. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any other way to cure the infection at the moment. We have food. This also doesn't take away water, so we can eat that. I need to make sure not to accidentally pick up the frame underneath this. So what I should probably do... I not accidentally pick it up. We can just put, pick up the ones around it to drop these. But I don't want to accidentally click underneath and then lose this. Okay. That should be good to go. Uh, we're going to also get a scout quest over here before we go. These preppers hit really hard. You have to be careful of them. Can I help you? Yes, you can. Man eater. Cable guys might actually give us nails, so let's do these you as well. Help me. See, it's both in the same direction. Awesome. I wonder if I shouldn't first do the cable guys and then do the tier one clear. That way we're not encumbered by the time we get to the deracinated dom. Or we're going to be encumbered from the deracinated. So going to the cable guys then is a mistake. Do it the other way around. You don't get anything except some nails perhaps if you kill the uh, the construction workers. But then afterwards you can just really go do the clear. Then you don't have to worry about being encumbered. Okay. Have to be careful. With hell on earth I wouldn't be surprised that even lockpicking spawns in zombies over here. Come on give me something good. Eh. The ammo is really good, don't get me wrong. The ammo is great. But I need something more. So far, at least, this bone machete is really awesome. I need to go into blades more to be able to get this thing a higher level. Ooh, hello, hello. Look what I see over here. Although, I don't know. Honey's not going to help me right now. Hopefully, there's a way to combat infection in this uh, mode as well. If you can get super infected, there has to be a way to get super uninfected, right? But that means you have to actually get some honey as well, and I have really bad luck. Oh, I know a way to get some honey. But to actually get its attention is going to be the problem. Oops, where did he go? See, this POI usually has landmines around it, but the map creator removed all the landmines from these POIs. The only place in this whole map that has landmines around the POI is the military district in the snow. I think sometimes there's even wolves walking around inside this over here, so we should probably go check that out. And I need Molotovs. The sooner we can get Molotovs, the better. Although I need to be careful I don't accidentally send myself a light. Imagine if there could accidentally be a feral inside one of these, even though it's tier one. Like, ha ha. Gotcha. The fact that he fell down, his HP must be low. He is still bleeding after all. Nice. I have to be careful with my stamina usage right now. The nice thing is you can hit multiple zombies with a swing of this now. In previous alphas, you weren't able to do this. There was a time when swinging the tool would only hit one zombie. Now, 
You hit multiple. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was a waste of stamina. Infection isn't helping much every time I miss. Just a waste. Oops. Okay, that definitely drew attention to myself, but I need to repair this. Oh, I don't have any bones on me. Um, I'll need to check for some bones. Yeah, let's, there's a corpse over here. I want this weapon to be able to help me when I go for the other one. The other house. See, the higher the infection, the worse the penalty. But if you take honey, even though it just does like 5% healing, uh, while you're busy healing for that 5%, I don't think you get any stamina penalties. There you go. So this is cure infection 5%. There you go. So for the next 5%, we don't have to worry too much about the stamina. Uh, although obviously our stamina is still reduced, but the overall penalty is just alleviated for now. I think there's another stump at the back. I, I wonder if there's a way to get more out of these. We'll come loot that and lockpick that after. Let's go. This is one of the, uh, those pure eyes where you can actually really... Stealth it if you wanted to. Sneak damage. Oops. Oops. Oh, ouch. My stamina. Stamina. Okay, the penalty is uh, still there. <laughs> oh, don't do that. You're not a breakdance or anything. Oh, that dot didn't move. Awesome. See, that little bit of attack just now did a lot of damage to him. He should bleed out, but let's just help him along. The final room, if that has a feral end, we're gonna have a problem. Nice nails. Now we can make a writable storage as well. We'll loot on the way out because I'm already getting a little bit encumbered over here. Yeah, I should stop looting until we are all the way done and then come down and loot. Cannot afford to be encumbered right now. Why do you wake up before I even get close? Whoops. Oh, damn it. That was a waste of stamina. Can close the door at least. Oh crap, that was a miss. Doesn't matter why, a miss is a miss. The reason is inconsequential. Some stamina back. I didn't want to do a power attack and accidentally walk over something or something happens. Okay, the books we can actually read because we'll be able to scrap. Uh, yeah, it's more space. Okay, since there's no zombie there, the zombie's gonna be to the left. Yep. Nice. It seems we are able to one-shot. That's awesome. Please, if I could get a football jacket or something, that'd be amazing. Okay, we'll come back for these. Come on. There you go. There's a hidden part inside this room as well that I want to go for. Wow, we're getting a ton of stone axes. Although that is busy slowing us down, so I have to be careful. I always get stuck in this OBS, so I'd rather remove it. Hello, little, little lady. He's an actual zombie. Not a weak one. Okay, that we can actually take care of. That's fine. Come on. A power attack was so unnecessary as well. I should probably see if I can't as soon as possible get myself some, like, scrap iron arrows or something. 
At least we're leveling up. The leveling from level 1 uh, to level 50 has been slowed down, but it's not affecting us too much at least. Okay, now this is where it gets tough. Because these zombies fall from the roof. I wonder if it's possible to... Nope. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is do this. Do this, do this. Hello? What the hell? I couldn't place that just now. For whatever reason. What are you standing on, dude? For some reason, I was definitely unable to place a block just now, even though it's just a block. I don't get that. Why, why was that not possible just now? Did I just skin his corpse? But yeah, for some reason just now, that was weird. I wasn't able to do anything. Certain blocks just can't be... I wonder if you cannot place blocks in doorways. I usually do that to just help out, but that might not be possible anymore. Okay, so now we go over there. Uh, do this. Go up. Over here. You can go through it one by one in this mod, so as long as you make one slot, it's fine. Okay, this is gonna be a- oh, uh, it's a good thing we have this then. I was about to say, we're about to repair our stone axe and already lose our durability on it. We need to go into tools as soon as possible. I wish it was possible to rip the barricades off of these just like in Ravenous. That'd be cool. You could save the durability on your weapons by ripping off the box instead of just opening it like this. Food 15, yes, thank you. Okay, now we have to hope for like a college jacket or something. Yes, thank you. Although I don't think that gives you any XP anymore, does it? I think that was changed to now not give you any XP. We'll just modify. Modify. Grab and put there. Do we have any clothing that can actually take another mod? Yes, awesome. Come on, give me some good loot. Imagine being able to find a crowbar right now. That would be epic. All these swings. Even if a crowbar uses a little bit more stamina, one swing instead of like multiple swings is definitely going to help. Okay, now I just have to loot this place on the way down. And I'll have to see if I can actually find something good or not. Okay, unfortunately the, uh, the lockpicks broke in the police car. And the second stump didn't have anything in it. But yeah, uh, now we're back over here. The infection's now taking seriously hold in me, so I need to be very, very careful. Uh, let's just grab that. Writable. Writable. Boom, make two. Okay, so then we can actually just move all the stuff over. Basically, a writable has enough storage to keep both of these containers. I wonder if I should just put it in the corner over here. Um, I need to make space over here because we have very, very little to work with. Healing can go this side. Food can go this side, and anything that's not food related should be able to be taken out of here. Okay, so basically this is food healing. Technically I can keep the coin in there, or the, the cash, because we're going to use it for there. But now let's just quickly make some space. Eh, it's not a full size bigger, but it's, it's still bigger. So we're going to put all of this stuff over here, we're going to put that in there. Put that over there, and then just, oh the frames go over there. I was to say, what's that empty slot, uh, space right there? Okay, so I need to make more building blocks as well because I keep accidentally deleting them. I still have to figure out the rules behind how you lose them. Because twice now, uh, I've just uh, not even been jumping, just running and placing or placing in a doorway seems to be not it. 
Okay, two. We're going to just quickly take this stuff over. Dump this. I don't think the trader actually has anything for us, so we'll just keep the cash in there for now. Oh, I just saw gunpowder. The gunpowder is not supposed to be there. Already just a little bit more space. That helps a lot. Okay, so we're going to hand in Ned? this quest first. Well, that didn't take long. Nice work. Clean water, nail bombs. Nail bombs work on groups, but they can also affect you. I mean, if there's a group and I can bleed them out, why not? I just have to be careful when using these. There's no, uh, like, primer on them. You just chuck them and then they uh, shoot nails all over. Okay, any more jobs? Where, am, oh, where are we right now? North, east, south, west. So if you can take jobs south or north. Was it Liam's? I have a protection payment coming up soon. We just have to accept a job from her, and then I actually want to see if Great we can't job. eat and drink something as How well before we go. Jarvani, yes. Okay. I mean, it's already going to do much, but if we can slowly but surely just heal ourselves, that'd be amazing. Unfortunately, there's nothing over here. Oh wait, herbal antibiotics. What am I talking about? You're welcome. That's another ten percent right there. How did I not see that earlier? I just saw pills. I wonder how many people Good were day. commenting, hey, you missed it, you missed it. Okay, but if we can get another scout, which means we're going to have to get other traders, though. I think there's a trader down there, there's a trader over there, and then there's Razor on top. But I don't... A Razor might actually sell. And Anna. Anna's over here. A treasure map is too dangerous. Okay, so south just now. Oh, I did the wrong way around. You're supposed to get a quest from her first. So let's do Manita. Yeah, you're supposed to get a quest from the scout first because it's um uh, it's random. So the the trader, for example, had a quest to the north, so we could done could have done these two together. That was a mistake on my part, unfortunately. Jars I also need to fill up. Is there water close by? Is there a pool over here? Oh yeah, trader Jen also has this little bit of a pond over here. But that water is gonna go so fast. Especially if I keep just grabbing water from over there, it's going to just deplete super, super fast. I should probably go mining at night, but I don't know. With my current tools and level and stuff, that might not be possible. I should also want to go and just quickly make some more water. It takes forever to make this water. Cheers. Okay, I'm going to put that in there. It's nice you can actually put stuff in the output. And then I'm just going to drink these as we're running as well. Oh man, I can just drink it now. Because I want to make sure that we don't have anything else on us that might encumber us. And then we can drink one of these. Oh, that was 50 water. That was a waste. I didn't know oh, that. I did that way too fast. I should be careful in the, the future. Let me just also see what she has well, for us. You a sight for sore eyes. What can I get you? Okay, food. I can take more water over here. The XP elixir will definitely help. We need to get those levels. I wonder in the Hell on Earth mode whether the two po skill points after every 10 levels still count or not. Because usually you can get um, two skill points at level 10, 20, 30, but it might not be a thing in this one. If I had a duke for every time someone was just looking, what time is it? Seven o'clock. We have time, right? I think I'm just going to call the episode here. Yeah. Next time we're going to go for, uh, do these quests before night time. We're just going to grind away. If you guys like this episode, please like it with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls on Earth. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my Seminaries that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.